Hi boys and girls, Miss Greta here. I would like to read you a story today called My Lucky Day. It's written by Kiko Kaza. My Lucky Day. Hey rabbit, someone yelled outside. Are you home? Rabbit, f rabbit, thought the fox. If there were any rabbits in here, I'd have eaten them up for breakfast. When the fox opened the door, there stood a delicious looking piglet. Oh no, screamed the piglet. Oh yes, cried the fox. You've come to the right place. He grabbed the piglet and hauled him inside. This must be my lucky day, the fox shouted. How often does dinner come knocking on the door? The piglet kicked and squealed. Let me go, let me go. Sorry, pal, said the fox. This isn't just any dinner. It's a pig roast, my favorite. Now get into this roasting pan. It was useless to struggle. All right, sighed the piglet. I will, but there's just one thing. What, growled the fox. Well, I am a pig, you know. I'm filthy. Shouldn't you wash me first? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, said the fox to himself. He is filthy. So the fox got busy. He collected twigs. He made a fire. He carried in the water. And finally, he gave the piglet a nice bath. You're a terrific scrubber, said the piglet. There, said the fox. Now you're the cleanest piglet in town. You stay now. You stay still now. All right, sighed the piglet. I will, but... But what, growled the fox. Well, I am a very small piglet, you know. Shouldn't you fatten me up to get more meat? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, the fox said to himself. He is on the small side. So the fox got busy. He picked tomatoes, he made spaghetti, he baked cookies, and finally he gave the piglet a nice dinner. You're a terrific cook, said the piglet. There, said Fox, now you're the fattest piglet in the county. So get into the oven. All right, sighed the piglet. I will, but what, 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 shouted the fox. Well, <clears throat> I'm a hard-working pig, you know. My meat is awfully tough. Shouldn't you massage me first to make a more tender roast? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, the fox said to himself. I do prefer tender meat. So the fox got busy. He pushed and he pulled. He squeezed and he pounded the piglet from head to toe. You give a terrific massage, said the piglet. But, the piglet continued, I've been working really hard lately. My back is awfully stiff. Could you push a bit harder, Mr. Fox? A little to the right, please. Yes, yes. Now a little to the left. Mr. Fox, are you there? But Mr. Fox was no longer listening he had passed out, exhausted. He couldn't lift a finger, let alone a roasting pan. Poor Mr. Fox, sighed the piglet. He's had a busy day. Then the cleanest, fattest, and softest piglet in the county picked up the rest of his cookies and headed for home. What a bath, what a dinner, what a massage, cried the piglet. This must be my lucky day. When he got home, the piglet relaxed before a warm fire. Let's see, he wondered, looking at his addressed book. Who shall I visit next? And in his address book, he has a few names written here. He already visited Fox, Coyote, and next he could see the wolf, wolf or the bear. The end. Thanks for sharing story time with me, boys and girls. Have a great day.